hi guys welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel maz 777 naturals and i want to say a special thank you to all i tell you i have had a lot of new subscribers this week thank you so much for subscribing to my channel you will not be disappointed of the content that you will see sorry i'm feeling a bit hot getting a bit of a hot flush um, this fan is amazing isn't it if you want to purchase one of these fans then check out my description box it is from mama v mama v anyway today's video i wanted to share about i don't know if you checked out my last video on my lock empties one of my other videos on my lock empties you would see that i held up a bottle which had sort of like uh, bacteria from which was in the rose water so this video i wanted to share about being careful about storing your spray solution in your bottles for too long i've had this solution in this bottle for over a week and i noticed not only did it go a funny color because all i've got in here is water and a little bit of essential oil and it really smells doesn't smell pleasant and I've noticed it's getting a little few bits I don't know if you'll be able to see this one let me see can you see those little particles floating can you see those just like in the rose water the same kind of particles are floating in this bottle you see so my advice is to not store your solution in your bottles for longer than a week I would say just mix up enough for a couple of days this is my bottle what I have my aloe vera in my aloe vera juice and I keep this in the fridge and I don't mix a big batch, I just mix a little bit. And I use it every other day or when my locks seem dry, then I would mist it. And also what you have to remember with your spray bottle that you need to clean it because what happens is the tube can collect dirt in it so you have to unscrew it well maybe not unscrew it but you can put this part soak it in some solution some gentle cleansing solution either some um detergent just to ensure that it cleans the tube and also this bit here the spray part you can actually take that bit off you can take this bit off here unscrew it stick it in some solution give it a good rinse or put it in some boiling hot water so that you can cleanse this part because when you think about it, you're spraying that into your locks and you want to make sure that it's really clean so that's what I've been it be doing the actual bottle you can get one of these brushes and just stick it in there I'm going to show you because I'm going to throw this one away anyway and you just give it a good swirling you see just clean it and normally this this bottle has an end bit here but it's come off so I'll use this bit so you can get to the bottom see 
you need to clean the bottom part of the bottle. So use that bit. This is actually um, a baby brush because this one you use to clean the teeth. So obviously it's old, I would not use it in a baby's bottle now. So I would use this part to clean the underneath of the bottle. You see this bit here? And then the bigger part of the brush to actually clean inside. And you need to try and do that at least once a week. Give it a good clean, um, soak it in some water, and then what you do, oh, what you do once you put your water, your soapy solution in, just give it a good shake, and then squirt it through this part here to clean the tip of the spray and make sure that this part is soaked in solution as well. Already that looks clean. And then what you do, you can fill it up with either distilled water or bottled water. Oh, bottled water. So I would, so there's my bottle, all clean. No scum underneath. Make sure there's no scum at the top, no scum underneath, and no scum in the spray part. And then what you would do, what you would do is use some distilled water. This is the one I use. I used this when I had my steamer. I used to steam. I use this water in the steamer. It pre prevents furring and scale formation. And that's what we want in our bottles. We don't want any furring or anything like that. So I'm just pouring some in the bottle. So I'll use about that much. I'll use about that much, not too much, just enough for like a couple of days. And then what I would do, I would put some essential oils. So I'm gonna put some peppermint oil. I'm gonna put a bit of peppermint oil. Maybe about 10 drops. Shake it up. Swirl it around. And then you're good to go. Oh, you're good to go to mist your locks. And then you keep this. Um, I normally keep my bottle in the fridge but that's only because I use the aloe vera this is the aloe vera um, juice and it needs to be kept in the fridge so I would keep this in the fridge this is distilled water that doesn't need to be kept in the fridge you could just keep that on the side but like I said try not to try not to um, make too much of a big batch just make enough for a few days and then that way you will have no problems of the water going stale because the last thing you want is to put stale water on your locks because if you put the stale water on your locks obviously it's going to start smelling you don't want smelly locks you want fresh mm, fresh smelling locks can see how moisturized my locks are see light and moisturized combination of using the tresemme shampoo i will link that video above so you can watch that and because i washed my hair yesterday um what i do i use the tresemme shampoo because it's got sulfates in it so 
it's not that great to use the sulfates but to be honest it agrees with my hair cleans it really well and then I will just use the olive oil sulfate free shampoo afterwards and it, it really my locks feel really really soft and really really conditioned because I would use the um, vitamin E oil okay. I'll use the vitamin E oil which is this one I showed that in another video and I'll just use it on my scalp and down the length of the lock and it helps to keep it really moisturized so that is it guys so remember keep your spray bottles clean disinfect your spray bottle boiling up water or a mild detergent as long as you make sure you rinse it out properly you use a bottle brush to clean it properly all the way around the sides and at the underneath you clean this part as well and making sure you clean the actual spray part so you take this off dismantle it and clean this part and the tip take this off unscrew it and clean that part and you're good to go so if you notice that your spray bottle is, is you're starting to smell a pungent smell which is not what you used to smell before then there's a possibility of the water going rancid so just a tip that I thought I would share with you guys because we all want healthy locks so that is it for this video uh, this these locks are so annoying you see these ones these are the ones what snapped off so it's not grown back yet so it keeps sticking out so guys thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share the video and don't forget to press the notification bell at the bottom if you want to be alerted of my up and coming videos as always guys stay blessed stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching take care now Mwah. bye